check out these Instagram and TikTok creators. They're raking in hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of views with short videos that only take around five minutes to whip up. Ever wondered how much they're pulling in every month? Well, in today's video, we're diving into the world of these accounts and how they're pocketing between ten dollars to $30,000 monthly, depending on how they cash in on their channels. Imagine this. What if I told you that you could craft 1,000 quick clips like these in just 20 minutes and turn your social media game into a home-based retirement plan? This video isn't just about creating a ton of these viral short clips. I'm also spilling the beans on how you can effortlessly expand your brand and speedily make money from these channels. There's a sneaky method I've been using to schedule posts across the board with just one click. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer for nearly all of my businesses on social media. Oh my God! Wow! We're making things super easy with two AI tools for our short videos. The first one, Chatched, is the star of the show. And guess what? We're rocking the free version. No need to worry about the fancy plus version. We've aced the whole process without it. Our game plan? We're asking Chatch to whip up 50 sets of facts on various topics for our shorts. We're diving into psychology, motivation, relationships, the whole boy-girl scene, and productivity a real mix to keep things interesting. The key here is to find topics that everyone can connect with and, more importantly, share with their buddies. You know how these platforms love content that people pass around. Now. Getting the right results is a bit of a secret handshake with these AI tools. It's all about the perfect prompt. We're doing some trial and error to refine our prompts and find the sweet spot. Once we hit that, we just hit send and Chatch does its thing, cooking up the facts we need for our awesome shorts. We've got one column filled with different facts and another column with the starting point. You can adjust this number as you like, but avoid going too big. Just copy and paste this second prompt to generate 20 more using the same rules. This way, you won't end up with repetitive content. Now, let's kick off with these 20. The method I'll share next lets you automate the entire editing process, making it a breeze to create numerous videos. First, copy the entire table, then move on to the next tool. With just a few tweaks, you'll be cranking out 50 videos in no time. First, go to canva.com. If you haven't signed up yet, do it. It's free. After you log in, you'll see a page that looks like this. Now, click on the search bar in the middle and type YouTube Shorts. Choose the YouTube Shorts template and click on Create Blank Template to start a new one. To get things ready for making your video, make a few changes. First, add a video background. Click on apps at the bottom left, then scroll down or use the search bar to find videos. Look for something like beach or sunset to get a calm background like the example. Pick a video you like and proceed. Just click on it and make it fill your editing window completely, making it the background for your project. This is what we aim for. Release the mouse cursor to apply it as a background video. Now, the next step is creating the text overlay. First, let's adjust the video duration to about five to six seconds because longer videos might not keep viewers engaged enough for these short form platforms. Simply drag the video down here, aiming for the six second mark. After that, eliminate any background noise or music from the video. Click on the video, find the volume icon at the top right corner and drag the volume all the way down to mute it. Now, before we connect this to our data for making our video, let's deal with the text. First, add a title in the text section and choose how you want it to look. It'll pop up on the canvas automatically. This text is for the main idea, so replace the current text with your topic and move it to where you like. Now, let's adjust the text. Double click to select it all, go to the top and change the color to white to make it stand out. Add a background click on effects and choose background. It might start as black, but if not, scroll down and pick black. This will be your main text at the top of the video, so just type in topic for now. Feel free to change the font if you want. Pick any style that you like. 
If you're using the Pro Trial, you can even use your own fonts or explore the Google Font Library for more options. Let's make a copy of this text. Click on it and choose Duplicate. Now, grab the duplicated text and place it below. This will be our part one text. To edit it, just double click. For a cleaner look, remove the background by clicking on Effects and selecting None. But to make it stand out, add an outline. Click on Outline, set the color to black, and increase the thickness to 75 to 95, depending on your preference. Now, for the Part 2 text, duplicate Part 1 text by clicking and selecting Duplicate. Crucially, place it slightly under Part 1. We'll want the text to consistently appear in the same spot. This step sets the stage for the automation process you'll see later. Since Part 1 and Part 2 text can differ in length, and most might be longer than this small box, click and drag from the edges of the purple boxes of Part 1 and Part 2 text. Align them with a the purple outline around the entire video. This ensures that longer text added later fits the screen correctly, wrapping within the box and avoiding overflow, keeping it readable. All right, let's switch up when our two pieces of text pop up in our video. We don't want both Part 1 and Part 2 showing up at the same time. To handle this, right-click on Part 1 and choose Show Timing. This brings up a timeline view at the bottom, letting you decide when each text part appears. For a short 6-second video, it's smart to have Part 1 on display for most of the video, and then bring in Part 2 for a brief moment. This encourages viewers to re-watch, boosting retention and watch rates which is key to making your video go viral. Set part one to show for, let's say, three and a half seconds. You can adjust this as needed and do the same for part two, having it appear at three and a half seconds into the video. Now, here comes the exciting part that not many people know about in Canva. It's called Bulk Create. It's time to connect our text with the data and we'll be using this tool. Click on apps at the bottom left of your screen and you should find the tool there. If not, you can use the search bar to locate it. This feature will ask you to input your data. Since we let Chatch create the facts in a table format, we can simply copy and paste it directly. Okay, let's go back to Chat, copy the information, and head over to Canva. Click on Enter Data Manually and choose the top left cell in the first column. Paste your text and it will automatically format into topics, part one and part two, just as we want. Now, click on done. Next, let's link the data to specific elements in your editor. Right click on the topic text, select connect data, and then choose topic. You'll notice these brackets around it, indicating that your data is now connected. Repeat this process for both part one and part two, ensuring you use the right sources. With everything connected, move the Part 2 text over Part 1 because we want both sets of text to display one after the other in the same spot. Part 1 should be shown for the first three and a half seconds, followed by Part 2 for the remaining two and a half seconds. When it's lined up correctly, click on Continue down to the left. Now, when you hit Generate, it will bulk create all your videos that Chat provided. Now, to swiftly get these videos, just hit the share button up in the right corner, then choose download and make sure to pick download pages as separate files. It's pretty straightforward. You'll have each video downloaded individually, and that's essentially how you can make these videos. Now, let me introduce you to an amazing website called Buffer. It's like a dream come true for content creators, making it super easy to schedule your posts across all your social platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube with just one click. Forget the hassle of doing it manually on each channel. To get started, sign up for their free trial and create an account. Then, link up all your social media accounts to Buffer. It's a straightforward process, a bit repetitive, but totally worth it. Once connected, your dashboard will look something like this. Now, head to your calendar and click on Create Post. 
Choose the channels you want to share on, insert your clip, add some captions, and voila! You're ready to publish it effortlessly on all your platforms. I can't demonstrate it right now, but just hit share now and Buffer will handle the rest. Congratulations! You've just automated your entire content creation process. By consistently posting these videos daily across all platforms, see you in the next video.